Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about APIs, which is a big thing for me. Um, I really believe if more websites, um, government agencies publish APIs, then developers like myself could create really cool, you know, mashups of uh, the the uh, data that that becomes available to us. But what's usually missing is really good API design. So I've been uh, fiddling around with APIs. <laughs> And um, one, one such project, let me show you, let me show you, come here, come into my shop. Oops, what have I just pressed? I've just crashed my browser. Okay, so this is um, a simple feedback form, but I've just, I'm using the latest and greatest. I'm using the fetch API to actually send that, that uh, feedback. So you, I can go like something like, uh, uh, hello, via fetch API and ooh, should have shown you the network thing but um, you can just about imagine what is happening uh, take two take two oh no I have to reload it uh, take two so you can see it is a fetch API and it is a bit of a, what do you call it, a synchronous operation on the on the back end, so it takes a bit of time. I'm also using SSL, I'm also using HTTP2, that's why it says H2 there. So um, yeah, and you can see I made a little Ajaxy button. But I look at look at look at I've, I've, look at what I've done here, guys. Disable JavaScript. Just imagine, if you will, that a browser doesn't run JavaScript. Hmm, what happens then? Uh, oh no, crikey, I probably have to reload this again. Uh, sorry, okay, it's still disabled. This is from, uh, an, an, this is this is with JavaScript disabled. So what happens here actually is that it just does a normal form post. Wow, a normal form post, H heard of that? <laughs> To send the uh, to send the feedback, and um, it works. I can demonstrate that to you. Um, yeah, this is with JavaScript disabled, right? It works. So yeah, um, that's what I like to see: a f <laughs> an API that can be driven from a from a form. Um, but anyway, um, I was a little bit saddened when I saw yesterday when I imported my API description and um, that sort of form data doesn't work on the API gateway of AWS cloud. If anyone knows about that, please let me know. Okay, so APIs, design, how do you design them? How do you document them? I've been searching for the answer for a while now and I've discovered Swagger. There are a few little competing standards, but I think Swagger has the nicest um, editor thing, you know, you can edit it here, um, and uh, and it should appear here. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Now. Come on, work for me. Have I? I think it's because I've disabled JavaScript, isn't it? Is it like a global thing? Ugh. Oh no, sorry guys. Um, uh, just don't disable JavaScript. Don't disable JavaScript. I need JavaScript to work now, please. Oh my gosh. This is horrible without JavaScript. Okay, so if I don't disable JavaScript. Okay. Can you get, can you work now please? Can you work now please? So Swagger is a great way of documenting and designing your um yeah, there it is. It even has like this really cool, um, like it generates the form for you to try out the the, uh, the request, and it gives you all the sort of debug information. It's super useful. Um, but the trouble is the Swagger toolchain isn't, um, uh, shall we say, as as smart as I'd like it to be. Um, it's got some hairy places at times. Uh, trust me. Um, but you can see the idea. If you design an API um, in this sort of definition language, you can actually generate the server side that receives it, uh, if I understand correctly, and you can generate the clients. Um, isn't that like 
just bloody amazing. Anyway, I don't have time to show you what the clients look like, but the problem I find with the swagger generated code, just like any templated or not any generated code, it's kind of insanely bad. I was going to, oops, no, I was going to show you that. I was going to show you this. So basically, I've implemented a form data thing, I believe, in roughly 58 lines of code. I could probably get it down if I use some tricks, but I just kept it kind of verbose. That's with calls, and that's even with a little bit of a HTML thing in there to fall back on. But this code that it generates is pretty, pretty mental. Anyway, uh, so what did I show you? I showed you, um, I showed you some uh, one of my um, little uh, API examples that works without JavaScript, and I introduced you to Swagger. Please check it out, and if you know anything better, please let me know. Um, but I think it's pretty awesome time for APIs and API design right now. And um, get on it. Get on it, guys. Do an API. Tell me about it. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching.